please welcome Mr. Paul Foote. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? All right. Uh, oh, well, should we do that? Oh, oh hello. Nice Thank you. you. All right. Uh, <laughs> now, what? tell us now who you, you're a stand-up comedian, aren't yes, you? Yes. I know that for a fact, but I'm just saying that oh, to, yes, to other yes, people. Oh, stand-up, yeah. Thank you for coming on. Uh, first of all, I have to be honest, we, we, had, we were going to do a different segment uh, for our first show, and they all screwed up on Friday night. And, we f and when you said that you would be on the programme, we were punching the air and going, thank God, <laughs> we have a guest for Monday. What absolute rubbish. But no, it is absolutely true. I don't true. believe that. No, it, is, it is absolutely true, but I must be honest, I have no idea who you are. That's I, fine. I, Listen, I've never seen you before no, in my exactly. life. It, but, you know, I think you're, you're, you're doing well. Thank you're, you very looking much. Looking good, doing well. Thank you. Looking good. Looking good, feeling good. Sam. Absolutely. Yeah. And eating fit. Anyway, <laughs> how's it going? Oh, uh, well, I've not been well. You haven't been well? No, no. My throat. Right. I've had a lot of problems with it. I've been at my mum's. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's my throat. Well, because I've had kind of problems there. Yeah. I don't think we want to go into the exact right. details of the problems. Before we... All right, so let's... let's. OK, I wasn't expecting that as a beginning, so oh, that's... No. This is you doing so, a... a record breakers. A record breakers. And what is this push This guy up? is going to do the most amount of press-ups using only his hands. Right. Right? It's a hand press-up thing. No one had seen this until it happened. Hilarious. Wait till you see it. That is it. Now, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Nobody's seen the man doing it. He's having sex with the ground. And my face was the only face he would go to because Linford Christie was laughing so much. They couldn't go to him and everybody in the gallery lost it and the poor producers going, come on, people, focus, focus. Because everyone was killing themselves laughing. No one is, but no one is he having sex with the ground. He's humping a target. He seems to do that. <laughs> and he's pulled buses by the strength of his hair. That's the kind of record attempt that he conjures up. But this seems to me more like the kind of thing you would see on You Bet than record breakers. <laughs> do you know what I mean? A few seconds. Oh, let's watch the end of this. <laughs> I'm spent, baby. Look at him. He's laughing. That's a lovely moment. How come you're here? You asked me. Thank you. And you said yes. And I said yes. Yeah, this is what Ben, ben why did I come on? Yes, why? Because I have things to promote. Yes, exactly. Which, which... Why else would one go on the show? Absolutely. It... <laughs> well, that's the American way, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. And here we are in London. Yes, yes. That, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I, I could watch you for about an hour. I don't mean that in any batty man sense or anything like that. <laughs> I find you thoroughly... Batty? Into... Well, he said batty man is some kind of term for gay men. Oh, I don't like that. Why not? Well, oh, I don't want to get in, into that. No, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you oh, should no. get into it. Oh, what is no. it? Why, 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 don't, why don't you like it? Well, I don't know. I mean, it suggests... What? It suggests that all homosexual men are only interested in that kind of No, thing, there's, there's a variety of, of, of sexual activity that... that, that I all mean, people... I'm a homosexual, right. but I'm a very straight one, and I'm very <laughs> repressed. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, not you're... repressed, but I'm very ha boring ha ha sexually. And, it, and in homosexual sex, what is boring homosexual sex? What would that be? Can you? Could, well, I don't. Be specific? I don't want to fully. No, no. But could we just, dis rather than being graphic or gratuitous, could you, could you describe? <laughs> but, could, but that's a fascinating thing. A homosexual person is very straight. Like I, I think of myself as a heterosexual. Yes. Puff. Yes. So there, to me, there's a sort of. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm, I'm essentially puffy without having the thing of ha wanting to have sex with men. Well, but it, in other respects, I'm very limp-wristed and... Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. I don't want to fully get into the full details. No, I understand Because of my nana and that, she could be watching. I understand. But she knows but... that you're gay. Well, she does. She do <laughs> I'm afraid she does now. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's the truth. Well... So, she... what, so what is to you, what is straight, what is a straight homosexual? Well, here's an example uh, from my own life. Yes without going into too much detail. Yeah. I had a bit of an incident <laughs> <laughs> uh, with this man, a heterosexual man. Right. And it was kind of an, a, a sort of a, a kind of a sex session between us. Right. <laughs> oh, with a heterosexual? Yes. Right. And I mean, he was interested in doing a lot more things than I was. Right. And I'm a proper homosexual and he's a heterosexual. <laughs> 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 it was remarkable to see some of the things that a heterosexual man would be interested in doing. <laughs> things that, to me, were just disgusting. Right. <laughs> Could, was, was, uh, can you be any more specific, or, or is that not, not really a... Or, or would you, if you would rather not? Well, I mean, I'm just... Uh, I don't want to go to the, the details. I understand. I'm just a gentle, pleasant boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't think we were going to go into this sort no, of thing. No, neither did I. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to talk about a snooker or something. <laughs> Now, we are on some kind of promotional tour. Let's have a look. Oh, it's the Generation Game Studio. Fantastic. Say hello to Jim. We can't by any way have a, a live link. They couldn't possibly hear us, would they? No. Well, can we just turn the sound off on that? Because he's a friend of mine. Oh, is he really? Jim Davis. You know, if you and I were to walk into the Generation Game Studio right now, He'd there's no way... Out. He would And he wouldn't turn you down, that's for sure. No, he wouldn't. Should we do it? Yeah. yeah. Should we see if we can get some, some Jim Davidson action? All right, let's do... Do you mind doing this, Britt? And, and we'll talk about your jewellery and Does stuff he later. Like there are no cables. We can't do it. No. Oh, see, now, if you were Jay Leno... Yes. ..you could do that. <laughs> see? You have, see? You have no idea how much my staff hate me. <laughs> You should have total authority to do anything you wanted to. Damn I, right. I, Screw I, the cables. I, right, should we go? Should we go into the Generation Game Studio and we'll see if we can get ourselves at least on in that shot? Should we try and do that? Well, should they all come with us? No. Um, <laughs> We can't no, do that, no. no. Hey, screw you, I'm Jay Leno. We're going! No, no, we're not. We're, we're staying there. All right, now, Angus, Angus is sorting this out now. Come on, Britt, let's just run Whoa, over. Just let's, over. Let's just go. Come on, let's go. Got all this. Britt, let's go. Oh, it's Britt, yeah, are, you able to, are you able to run in those heels? Come no. on, let's just go. I have a bad back as well. I have are a big, a, big okay, core strip on my back. Right. Don't fall over this on the floor. George, Don't fall over this. <laughs> is describing things for people who might be blind. <laughs> uh, I've never done this before, so... Um, <laughs> I don't think he shows his... Uh, he's truly a lovely fellow. Right. Lovely, lovely fellow. <laughs> Thank right. you. Okay, there we go. I wonder if they saw that. Would they even have seen that? Did you see that? Did you actually see it? So at least we got on the and generation. And see, you know, without me, you wouldn't even have a chance of getting into that studio. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Your sister goes speech therapist. Thank you, John. You know, I like to shout irrational insults at my staff on a daily basis. But the problem is, sooner or later, you eventually run out of rude things to say. So where better to get fresh insults than the birthplace of all cruelty, the playground? Joining me now are three teachers from, uh, uh, <laughs> from around the country to enlighten us. In Cardiff, we have Steve Reed, who teaches at St. Illan's School. Steve, hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, we have, uh, from Liverpool, Sue Brennan, who is geography teacher at Broad Green High, S uh, High School. And, uh, from Bristol, Cos Smith, uh, who teaches at the Fairfield High School. Cos, is that an abbreviation? Uh, no, that's my name. That's Cos, my goodness. Yeah. So, listen, um, can we just ask each of you in turn, thank you very much for agreeing to be on the programme, and, uh, can I just ask you, first of all, uh, what, uh, Steve, what age group do you, do you teach normally? 11 to 18-year-olds. 11 to 18, is that the same for you, Sue? Yes. And Cos? 
11 to 16. 11 to 16, yeah. right. Is that, is that tougher dealing with the, the, the more limited age range? Uh, well, some would say, yeah. Right. Uh, okay, so, so now tell us now what the current playground insults are. What's the lingo? Uh, Steve first. You know, it depends what area. If you're looking at someone being uh, a bit big, you've got things like uh, your fat bap or your donuts or something. <laughs> they seem like um, bap fat is my favourite. Bap is your favourite. What's the, does, why bap specifically? Well, it's sort of quite sort of tasteful, isn't it, really? <laughs> it's, it's not really slagging anyone off badly, but uh, your fat bap just sounds funny as well. <laughs> I don't think these are your children's insults at all, Steve. I think they're yours. <laughs> All right, so fat bat, and that's pretty big in Cardiff. Sue, what about in Liverpool? What are the kids calling each other? Um, one, one of my favourites is Muppet or Nugget. Um, that sort of <laughs> seems to be a term of endearment. Right, yes, it sort of sounds like it's about 1952 in your school. It seems rather... <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the kind of insult... You, well, you perish in palaver nonsense. <laughs> Why, are you impudent worse. scoff law? We've got a lot worse. Sorry? We've got a lot worse than that. So, come on, Sue, give us... Give um, us Go, go as far as you feel comfortable, and then just, just a step further. OK, when I was at school, we used to say, you know, you're sly. Our kids say alas s s or shady. Shady. Black. Shady. Um, Scurvy knave. Pardon? Scurvy knave. No, I'm sorry. I've heard that one. No, it was, it was right. So, so, really, so really, the insult's not too bad. Cos, in Bristol, what's happening at your end? Well, mild insults might be, you're off-key, or you're, you're being extra. So you teach, you teach it in music school? <laughs> You're off, uh, off key. You're off key, man. You're yeah. off key. Man. Oh, well, man makes it completely legitimate. Every, everything follow, everything's followed by man. Right. You're off key, man. Yeah. You're feisty, man. Feisty. You're being extra. You're being They're extra. They're quite mild. Right. And, and then we move up to your breath stinks. You're a batty man. Or you need a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and then the premiership of all insults. Here we go. Of all insults, of all time, and it has been for the last ten years. It's been your mum followed by anything. <laughs> but usually just your mum. <laughs> batty man, is that like a cricket thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, your batty is your backside. Oh, your backside, right. Yeah, so if you're a batty man, it's a, a, you know, you're a gay man, I suppose. You're a gay, you're a gay, you're a backside man. Yeah. <laughs> that still sounds like a cricketing term. <laughs> All right, well, listen, thank you very much. And, uh, and, 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 uh, and it, was, it was a genuine pleasure to hear um, a, a white man in his late 30s say batty man. And, and <laughs> you know, thank you. You, you, you duh man. <laughs> Let's just stare awkwardly into space for a while, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> we had an idea on the programme for something called Jingles Night, and the idea of Jingles Night, we thought what we would do is we would get in touch with all of the local radio stations, because, you know, there, there are loads out there. So we sent out this, uh, this, this clarion call to, I think it was 204, 208... Uh, radio stations, because we wanted to play some of their jingles on the show. Four radio stations responded. Uh, but the one that we liked best was a, was a station called Radio Shropshire. So Radio Shropshire were very kind enough to send us their jingle, and we'd like to play it for you now, because it makes us laugh. But the thing about this Radio Shropshire thing, obviously, we can't just play you a jingle, because it's kind of a bit naff, really. You know, it is television. So what we thought we would do is cut the Radio Shropshire jingle to images drawn from today's news. So here now, Radio Shropshire and today's world news. Let's have a little look at that. In Shropshire, we've got it all, from Oswest Street to Hartnett Hall. Sightseeing, shopping, a picnic is great. There's so much more to appreciate. Shropshire, you are the best. Ellesmere Snakes to Wembach Edge. Dublin Park and Bridge North too. Shropshire, we're a part of you. 96 FM. Shropshire, we're proud to be a part of your society. So much to do, so much to do, Shropshire, we're so 